Uh, hello, let's talk about this case anaphylaxis, right? Uh, so in this case, you are a FI2 in the ANE department. This is regarding an three-year-old child who was brought to the hospital because of anaphylaxis happening for the second time. So what you have to do is you have to talk to the mother and address her concern. Right? When you look at this case, right? What are you supposed to do, right? Most of the people, when they are asked to do this case, they talk, try to take a history about anaphylaxis. Right? This is already a diagnosed case of anaphylaxis, so you really don't need to dig into that detail on how to diagnose anaphylaxis, right? You don't need to ask each and every symptom, right? Each and every episode so carefully. You can just ask, okay, second, if the second episode is like this, how was the first episode? Is it the similar? Is, it, is there any significant difference, right? So it, when it comes to this case, what is your target? What is your goal? Your goal is not to diagnose anaphylaxis. Your goal is to find whether there is any etiology which can cause this anaphylaxis. And in an event of another episode, how, how are we going to manage this child? I mean, uh, is this uh, family members or the people who are around this child are aware of anaphylaxis and whether they do have the knowledge, facility to manage the child and also whether the uh, whether the child is in any kind of health hazard situation, if anaphylaxis occur, the child's life might go into danger. So in the history, what you have to do is you have to find out these things, right? Rather than trying to exclude the symptoms and signs of anaphylaxis, which is not really necessary because this is already diagnosed case, right? So in the, especially in the history, right? In the past medical history, you can ask about whether the child has any history of asthma, hay fever, or uh, allergic rhinitis, right? Uh, so, in addition, you can ask about the child's allergic history, right? And also, if you go to the uh, family history, you can ask about the similar episode in the family, right? So, when it comes to the social history, you need to ask about the child's condition, right? Whether who is taking care of child, right? Whether they are aware of what has happened, right? Does the child go to uh, play by him herself does the child stay alone right if if the child is going to any kind of daycare or any place whether they are aware of what is happening with her right those are the areas we have to pay more concentration right rather than just trying to exclude all the dds for anaphylaxis which is not necessary in this case right so that is why when I tell you that when you get a case, see whether this case is there to diagnose the illness or whether this case is already diagnosed case and you have to gather some more information, right? Right. So if you target and focus and then take the history, right, it is extremely easy to take the history and you can easily score these four marks for the history, right? So always focus on that. Always focus on how to gather these four marks by taking a focused history, right? If you take a focused history, right, this six minute period of history taking and examination is more than enough for you to take the history. Most people try to be so smart and try to ask a lot of questions. It is good if you ask more questions, but the most important thing is asking the important questions, not all the questions, right? So try to focus on that part in the history, right? When it comes to the management, right? What do you need to talk about management, right? First of all, when you are given this one and a half minutes outside, you have to think about the management as well, right? So think more carefully, right? This is a case of anaphylaxis. So this, this one... Uh, three year old this child had the anaphylaxis brought to the hospital second time right so do you think you will be expecting to talk about the manage acute management of anaphylaxis in this situation it's very unlikely why because the anaphylaxis is already diagnosed in this scenario and when they do give the diagnosis Right? They won't be asking a management in this scenario, right? If it, if it is so, they would have not tell you the diagnosis. They would have asked you to take the history and find out the diagnosis and then talk about the management. 
right so when this diagnosis is already given you have to be very smart so this is not about acute management that they are going to ask in the management part they are going to ask how to discharge this child how this child go home and how this child can be managed at home and how you can find the etiology right and how you can address that so that is the part of management that you have to expect in this history right so you can just think about it right so in the in the management what you what are the arms that you have to talk about you have to talk whether there is if you if you have identified any trigger in this history you have to talk about that trigger in the history in the management so if there is a trigger you can tell okay this can be the trigger so you need to avoid it right and even in the diagnosis card you can mention that you are going to write it down okay in addition right if you can't identify the trigger what can you do you might be able to refer this patient to any dermatology clinic or any specialist where they will be doing patch test or skin prick test to identify what is the allergen right so you can talk these two things right depending on the situation right and then uh, the other thing is if there is another episode in the future how the assess the mom's knowledge on how she manages it and you, you have to advise on how to manage the situation right so in this situation what you can tell is you can talk about the epipen right actually this is a case where you have to talk about the epipen in the management part right so you can find all these things about the epipen the colors of epipen and the blue for sky uh, orange for Thai and a lot of things are there so you can read all about these things but my aim was to give you uh, an insight on how to approach to this case so if you enjoyed our case you can join our mock sessions right we will be conducting mock uh, so these mocks are very cheap compared to most mocks available in the internet so this is five cases just for 10 pounds and 12 cases just for 20 pounds and uh, we would like to remind you the first case discussion is free and so anyone can join with us for free and we will talk with you and if you are happy you can join for the mock right uh, so even through the first discussion you can gain a lot from us right so we would strongly recommend to join our first discussion and see right and then these cases are selected in a target way right targeted way so that you will most probably encounter them in the exam right what do i mean by this is right uh, we, we do have a special video which says how to pass seven cases in the plateau right so the the mocks we are giving are focused on this way right so most of the time you will get some questions in the exam right in addition we will be giving you some free study material and we will guide you with the interpersonal skills right so if you uh, think about the exam the most easiest way of gathering four marks for each case is through your interpersonal skills if you are smart enough and if you have very good interpersonal skills without knowing anything about this case you can gather these marks of four right so that that, that is how you have to be smart right So, you, if you are interested, you can contact Dr. Says through WhatsApp, Emo, Viper, or Telegram through plus nine four seven six one two five one six six two, or you can visit Dr. Says Facebook page, www.facebook.com/smarties.org, and you can also visit the YouTube page where you can find some videos. So stay tuned to us and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.